<laughs> Pizza. <laughs> How are you? Ken! We were expecting you last night, a cup of tea. I know, I bumped into an old mate. Oh, <laughs> hey, uh, to see you. Good to see He'd you rather be out gallivanting with his mates than seeing his poor no, old dad. No, listen, look, we only meant to have a few, you know it is. Deirdre cut you some tea. Well, there's only left. For breakfast? <laughs> it's in some Tupperwares in the fridge and there's paracetamols in the cupboard. Oh, good. Mm, I'll see, see you later. later. Right. Great right. to see you. Yeah, OK. So, late night, was it? Oh, well, I've got no idea. <laughs> Uh, we were discussing your sleeping arrangements last night. Oh, it's okay. I'll just stick an airbed down in Adam's room. It's fine. Well, Deirdre, well, we both thought that uh, you might like to spend a bit of time with Tracy. You know, maybe stop over there. If you don't mind flying crockery. Yeah, giving Charlie over fried, is she? Eh? Hi, I brought some booties. Oh, right. I'll get the plates. Have you asked Tracy if it's okay if I stay with her? Oh, your dad's mentioned it, has he, about you stopping with Tracy? Yeah. Ken's pussy fucking. Well, we just thought you might have a bit more room over there. Oh, really? My dad just said you thought I might want to spend some time with her. Well, that as well. Are you trying to get rid of me? No! Oh, they no. want you to be a minder. No, we don't. They think he's knocking her about. No, we don't. He's knocking her about? Since when? We don't entirely trust him, that's all. We just wondered if you could keep an eye on her. Hang on, this is Tracy we're talking about, right? This is our Tracy. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Well, she's down at mine not long back. She's telling me what a top bloke he is and how into him she is. That is the problem. Should have seen the state of Shelley once he'd done with her. Yeah, I know Tracy told me. But Tracy's not Shelley, is she? We just need to know that she's all right. We're asking you to help. Hi. What the hell are you doing here? I've come to spy on you. Nice house. Where am I sleeping? I might have known you'd end up on this side of the street, Trace. Was I always destined for better things? Destined to turn into Gail Platt. Oi! Hey, you found you then. Well, it's not like she's got a job, is it? Dad, can you pick Amy up from nursery? I want to go for a drink with Peter. Of course. Of course. That was easy, all right. You two should catch up. We'll mind, Amy. Have a nice time. You know, they really have sent you to spy on me, haven't they? <sighs> Look, uh, Trace, why don't we go to the Weatherfield Arms instead, eh? Shelley's gone and Mum's gone. Who else are you scared of? Nobody. It's not that. It's just that... Uh... It just feels strange, you know. No, everything is exactly the same. Well, except that you'll be married to less of the barmaids. It's not funny. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, Ryan. I have a mind to take that mobile off you. Hi, Liz. Hello, Peter. Heard that uh, Shelley's gone, did you? Yeah. Well, you're looking very well. Ta. Hello, mate. Hi, Steve. How are you? All right. Good. Michelle, this is Peter Kensel. A local bigamist. <laughs> oh, come on, she'll find out eventually. Actually, uh, I'm single. Get forward that, mate, isn't it? No, I, I mean, I've changed. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what can I get you? Uh, I'll have a pint of bitter, please, and whatever she's on. Red wine, please. I'll tell you what, these are on me. Sit yourselves down, I'll bring them over. Oh, so. So. Here we are then, folks. Mm. Charlie. Now then, are you planning on stopping around a while? No, only for a few days. I'll tell you what, I didn't realise how much I'd missed this place till I got back. So you own this place now, Tracy tells me, is that right? Yeah, well, Steve, really. <laughs> but I own Steve, so it's as good as mine. <laughs> so, how's things with you and Charlie then? Hmm? Right. Have you got these questions written down, or did my man make you learn them? I'm interested. Yeah, right. I am. Well, I love Charlie. And that's nobody else's business, so you can tell him to keep the noses out. All right, fine. It's just that they're worried, Trace. Come on, you know what they're like. Well, they needn't do, because we're fine. So you can tell them that from me. We are fine, OK? OK. Right, come on, then. Listen, Trace, I don't know how to break this to you, love, but I think we're a little bit too old for clubbing now. 
Oh, well, great. You'll go partying with your mates, but not with your sister. Trace, I've only just got rid of my hangover from last night. If I drink from now until the club's open, honest, I'll, I'll keel over. Right, so you're saying you passed it. Well, that's emotional blackmail. I'll get this lot to the yard if you want to get off. Nice one, boss. Are you coming tonight? Pub quiz. You'll be on my Sarah's team if you want. You and Sarah? What's wrong with that? You combined IQ. Oh, cheers, mate. Nah, I shall take Tracy out to dinner. See me she hasn't run off with a milkman or something. He wasn't, uh, dark with short hair, was he? Who? The milkman. Just thought maybe that's who was dripping off Tracy before. Dripping off? Well, he had his arm round her. What? I just saw with the bloke before, that's all. Who? Well, I don't know, do I? Flaming hell, Charlie, you started all this with the milkman thing. All right, you take that lot to the yard, yeah? Go on. Trace? You don't fancy ironing your shirt for us, do you? No! What do we bother sending you to the Navy for? Oh, come on. Not like you're doing, huh? Here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm at home. But I'm just on the way out. Oh? Going out what? Just out. Look, it's all right, Charlie. I'm not asking you to babysit. Are you going out with? Look, Charlie, I've got to go. Have a nice evening, OK? I thought you'd be in the pub. Did you? Well, yeah, you usually are. And how long do you think I'll be? Mm. Oh, dear. Well, you've caught me. Go out, Charlie. I'll join you later. I'll let you know whether it did the trick. Whether what? Did. Dragging some poor, unsuspecting soul back here to get my revenge. Mm. Trace? Any particular towel? Trace? Charlie, it's Peter. Charlie, it's my brother! Charlie! Charlie, listen! Oh! Oh! Oh, what the... Come here! Charlie! Charlie, listen! Get up! Get up! Get up! Yeah, uh, quickly, he's gonna kill him! Charlie! Charlie, leave him! Charlie! God, it's my Peter! That's so attractive now! It's my brother! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! I was trying to tell do it. you, Peter. I am so sorry. Has anybody wrong an ambulance? Tracy, go Not home! Go in there. This is my father. Go home! No! Peter Barlow. Trouble follows him around like a pet dog. What's going on? Who's minded Holly? Quick! Roy, someone might need first aid. It could be blood. We really should carry protection. Oh, flaming jelly! No, you won't. Ken, you can't let her go in there. Maybe we should apply a little pressure to that lady. And do you not have any sterile dressing? Crazy! Crazy! Mother, we are getting a coat. Listen, everybody, Vernon is going to get the quiz started again. Come on now, everybody inside. The door goes Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Anyway. <sighs> oh, thanks, Blunt. That'll do me street cred no end of good. Mother, um, are, are you all right to look after Amy if we go with him in the ambulance? I'm not going to hospital. Well, I strongly advise you do. Look, don't worry. If Tracy tries to take Amy near that house, she'll have another fight on her hands. Come on, let's get you into the warmth. I wish it had been a flaming fight. I would have killed him. He's a coward. He's a pathetic coward. You're lucky you weren't stabbed in the shower, like in that psychic. Psycho! What did I say? Oh, why did he attack you? <sighs> Damn, I knew there was someone on my desk. How did Tracy 
Lucy, go back in there with him. Oh, we'll believe you to it. Thanks, Ailey. Look, I'm fine. I'm not going to hospital, all right? Look, we're not arguing about this. You're going to be checked over. Hey. Thanks. Thanks a lot. They discharge you? I discharge myself. But if they need to keep you in. Oh, I don't need observation, Deirdre. Look, if my head starts spinning round, I'll all come back. What exactly did they say? Next time, carry a weapon. Peter, please. Well, I've got knackered rib. I've got eight stitches. And my jaw feels like it's stopped a truck. I am so sorry. I feel like this is all my fault. Your fault? It's not your fault our traces ended up with a psychopath. But if I'd known what he'd do... Look, and if I'd have believed what you were telling me, I'd have been ready for him. I'm ready for him now. You're ready for some rest. What set him off? You know what? I should have been down here months back, told him to leave Tracy well alone, sorted him out. You don't think he'd harm Tracy, do you? Well, she's screaming who I am, and he's still after killing me. I'd say that bloke's capable of anything. And what are we gonna do? Come on, I'll get us a cab. <sighs> Mr Barlow. Yeah. Yes? Uh, Peter Barlow. That's me. Starfy jacket. Oh, perfect. Lock him up and throw away the key. Charlie Stubbs, I'm arresting you on suspicion of unlawful wounding. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Ma'am, how could you do that? You've got to get rid of that bloke, Trace. You've got to. 